bet you're wondering what all these parts are for. Stay wondering. So, today, all of the parts are going to be used in a build. And I know it's only been a few days since, since we did the big 800 euro dollar whatever build. But these parts got here so we had all the parts so we decided why not just get, get the build out there. So, um, yeah, we have, we have everything. Now, uh, one thing if you want to say disclaimer about the video is hard drive and graphics card. Uh, second hand, the only second hand parts in it. Uh, so with that, the entire cost of um, entire cost of this PC is around three hundred and fifty to four hundred euros. I'd say it's roughly the same in dollars. Uh, I have no idea what that does with pounds. You might want, you're gonna have to look it up yourself. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into this. So as you can see, here we have the uh, AMD Athlon X four. 860k now this is the AMD Kaveri which is the uh, the A10 7850k just without the uh, the integrated graphics uh, for the price we got this for around 50 50 euro for the price it is it is an amazing CPU uh, yeah obviously RCA T Goblin which you would have seen the unboxing of that so go. Come around here. We have eight gigabytes of, uh, of cr Crucial Ballistics Sport RAM. That'd be plenty for a gaming system. Uh, the Gigabyte Wind Force GTX 560 Ti. So one gigabyte card, one gigabyte uh, GDDR5. We have the MSI A88XME35 motherboard. MSI, good brand, nothing no wrong with it. We have our Western Digital Black 1TB. The black is pretty much the uh, the flagship uh, hard drive with the Western Digitals. Now we have uh, we have our Samsung DVD writer. It's just your general. There's nothing really to be said about this. They're about 20, 20 euros. And we have our CIT ATX power supply. 450 watt. Uh, for this system, it will be more than enough. Uh, just put all this down. And first of all, before we do this, we're going to need an unboxing knife. So, step two of this build, aside from unboxing all the parts, is lie about getting a knife and actually get scissors. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to gonna put the seal on the Athlon. Close it. I don't really want to cut myself today. And now, just open it up. Put out the cooler. I'll have to have a route around to see if we have an aftermarket cooler lying around anywhere. If not, we'll just use the stock one. I think we may have an aftermarket one, I'm not sure. Uh, as you can see there, I am the Athlon on the uh, on the sticker. That's the most important part. And you have uh, you have the processor itself, obviously. Otherwise it'll be a bit of a ripoff. Now uh, with the AMD, if you're if you're used to Intel with AMD, the pins are on the bottom of the actual CPU itself. So you might be able to see it there. Uh, rather than in the socket. So this out of the way. Now, uh, motherboard. At the motherboard, as you can see, it is MSI. It's an A88XME35. The A88X is the uh, is the chips out of this. It is, as far as I know, the newest, uh, like the latest chipset for the FM. Two and FM2 Plus uh, sockets. Just has a uh, has a uh, three display outputs. It has PCI Express Gen 3. It has a uh, Click BIOS 4 and fast boot. And of course, it has a uh, military grade construction. 
So if we just first of all open this up. So we have our IO shield. Again, there's nothing much on it. It's just plain plain bare metal. And we have our satellites. Black and white, kind of nice looking. So now, of course, that is one one uh, straight to straight and one straight to right angle. Just in case you don't really want to touch the the solder points on the bottom. So there, you have your socket. You have your two uh, your two ram slots here. Your Twenty four pin. Your four pin. PCIe. And then you have your other expansions here. Your SATAs. This comes with six. Here you have your USB three. Uh, your front I/O and some USB twos. Uh, obviously you have your audio as well. You come here and you see all the I/O on the back. Uh, obviously you have your uh, headphone and mic, and you have your uh, your sound input as well. Uh, oh, I found out what that was. <laughs> uh, you have your LAN, USB three, HDMI. VGA, DVI, 4 USB 2 and your PS2 ports. And that's pretty much it for the motherboard. Now, uh, the DVD player that's right in front of my face. Now, I'm not the tallest person ever. Uh, it's just your average Samsung one. There's no actual name to it, to be perfectly honest. It's just a Samsung DVD, DVD writer. Uh, in fact, this is the first time I bought one and actually got it in packaging. Usually they'll come in like a plastic bag or they'll come in a, in like, um, a really small cardboard box, but they never come in actual packaging for me. And so uh, this one actually comes with a little uh, front plate if you want to change it from black to silver. That's kind of cool. And of course you have your, uh, you have a, it comes with a satellite. Some uh, I'm guessing drivers in there. And now, take off the phone. There's no real need to mention the packaging on this one because, well, it's not a really big object. There goes the plastic bag. As you can see, there it is. You just press this button and the tray, the tray comes out. Put your disc in, either push it or press it again, this back in, and you're off. And you have your connectors. That's that's it. Now we have our uh, now we have our power supply. It's a 450 watt uh, CIT goes with the case a bit, and uh, yeah, it's a full ATX power supply, which means it has the uh, the cable that should reach in a full ATX case. Now if we just, um, just open, this up. open that a bit weirdly, but uh, give me a break because it's up higher than usual. So this power supply is gold, and um, yeah, it's the first time I've seen a properly gold power supply. Some power supplies say they're gold and they're yellow, or they're not a very good color, or should get a very, very good shade of gold, but that one is really damn gold. Uh, you just have your manual here. There. And... Well, a big box for... Yep, that's that's all that was in the box. It's either we've been robbed or the packaging is a bit awkward. I'll go back to the power supply. So here's the power supply out of its plastic. As you can see, it is really gold. <laughs> Maybe the camera doesn't pick it up properly, and that's why it didn't seem very gold on Amazon. So there you go. You have your one twenty millimeter fan with your fan grill. Sucks in air from outside and exhausts out the back. That cools the internals of the power supply. Now here we have our, uh, we have all your connectors. So we have, we have Molex and SATA. Your out your average, and then you have your uh, twenty four pin, an eight pin, and a four pin on this as well. Now uh, the graphics set that we're using takes two six pin. So we got this. So there should be one eight plus. So there should be one 6 plus 2 pin in there, uh, so we can use a 6 pin from that, and then this, it's powered by SATA, 
and it just goes into the end of the graphics card. And that's all for the power supply. Here we have our RAM. Uh, Crucial Ballistics Sport RAM, 8 gigabytes of it. Uh, it's good RAM, or very reliable RAM. Uh, if you don't believe me, just look at any of the reviews on Amazon, or pretty much anywhere really. Open. And, uh, should just come out like that. There we go. And then, I'm guessing there's something else in no. So now, here's our cakes. Now we've, we've unboxed this before, so uh, we don't actually have the uh, the packaging foam back on it. It's just in its little plastic bag. Okay. And you gotta wait for the static shock. Okay, so that's that. Now I don't know how it picked up the dust inside the box, but it did. Now, there we go, there's the front of your case. You have your power button, reset button, USB 3, USB 2, uh, headphone, microphone jack, and there's also a little place where you can put your own USB. Or if you can get like an aftermarket uh, power button or whatever. Now we have your, uh, where your front fan is, a green LED front fan. Then you have all your front design. You have uh, the three and a half inch for maybe a fan controller or your uh, car card reader. And you have two five and a quarter inch, five and a quarter inch baits. So now if we quickly just pop open the case. Those ridiculously tight thumb screws. On the side you also have a fan grill. So you can put a fan there or you can use it as ventilation. Okay, so this case, or maybe just our case, has a very, very stubborn side panel. So, uh, as you can see, it has a, uh, it's a green internal. Uh, you have all your connectors here, so you have your, you have your, uh, two USB 2, I'm sorry, your one USB 2 connector and your HD audio connector. And uh, you have your USB 3 connector. You have your Molex for your, probably your power button LED. Yeah, you have your, your power switch connector, your reset switch connector. Your power LED and your uh, hard drive LED. So now, uh, let's start the building of this beast. Okay, guys. So uh, right now, I just thought I would um, tell you kind of a little bit of a process on how these vi videos are made. Right now. Uh, after the cases and boxes stuff, I put everything pretty much back in its box. And what I do is, uh, I get my cameraman, aka my father, to take some thumbnails. Now I think after all we went with this thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, so before we start taking it all uh, like properly out of its boxes and putting it into the case and like building the computer, we'll take some th some thumbnails and uh, we will uh, we'll decide which one we're going to use. Um, it's just because I, the only reason I did this, it's only like a minute and a half of me, of me talking in post production. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, I never really speak about how these videos are properly made. And I just thought I had these pictures uh, accidentally added, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to keep them, I'll do a voiceover. Hopefully, the mic, the mic uh, quality isn't too bad. Uh, because this is a very bad mic, but it should be okay. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Future me. Okay, so now we're going to add uh, proper motherboard. So first of all, I'm going to put in this, put in the CPU. 
put it in the round and it solves the cooler. So here you just want to be careful taking this out of the pocket, especially because uh, the pins are on the bottom of the CPU. Do not want to let it fall. So if we uh, do that, now we locate our triangle, which is here. And you take your CPU and you put in put the little gold triangle down in the same direction as that triangle. That should go in. Make sure it's in. That's in. And we just push back down. Make sure it's again. It's in again. Definitely in. Now we're going to put in a RAM. We just take what RAM, RAM dims out. So if you see the notches in the uh, in the slots, that should line up with the slot in the RAM. So open your clips. Slot in your, your RAM dim. And our second round, round in. There we go. Now for our stock cooler. There we go. It already has the thermal paste on. So now if we just move the wire. And I think I'm going to install this with the clip facing upwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to just get one of the clips on, which is this side you can't see sadly. Put down the cooler, line up the other clip. There we go, and then you just you just turn it to make sure it stays down. There we go. Now this. Is our uh, CPU fan should go into the the four pin connector that says CPU fan on it? So I see, as you can see, that's not going to reach. So we can just put it around the fan like that, and then on. Try and manage the cable as best as possible. There we go, and it doesn't have bad. So that's our motherboard prepped. Uh, there's no other steps uh, until we have it in the case, and we can install the graphics card. So, the people who asked me to build them computers, such as the client that we're building this for, uh, is actually kind of lucky that we're that I'm building the computer for him because I know for a fact I know him well. That if he had built this at home by himself, he would not be able to have an exhaust fan. But I happen to have a ton of random fans lying around the house that I can just throw one in. So this is just it's not even it's not even lay it's not even an actual brand, I'm guessing it's just a really uh, really not well, very well known company. But uh, yeah, I could just throw this on on the back of it. Uh, once I find my screwdriver, which is right here. So uh, I just gotta wait, wait for the right time for this. But um, yeah, so if he hadn't have asked me to uh, build his computer, he would have been screwed. Uh, puns. So now if we set this to the right mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give him a fan grill on the rear fan. One, it'll make it look a little more interesting, and two, uh, in case he ever wants to do maintenance on it, he's not gonna stop, like, chop his fingers off with the fan blades. And again, like, had it lying around the house. So you can see, I can I can become useful now and then. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. And so as you can see, we have our fan grill on, and I also went ahead and put the IO shield in. Uh, this IO shield is kind of hard to get in, so that's why I didn't actually record it. 
you would you would have either seen me trying to start it or being here for ages watching me try to push it in. So now we are ready to install the motherboard. So now we're going to install the motherboard. So first we're gonna easiest way to do this is if you hold it by the heatsink, the uh, the heatsink is nice and firm on there. It's not gonna break. So you can just. These tabs is over the hole. Set up. And now what we're gonna do this. We're gonna pretty much slot the motherboard into place. So until it lines up with your standoffs. Now these standoffs are brass, and like the uh, the Zalman case. So you'll be able to see it, see them through the hole. So now I'm just gonna sort through all my screws and I'll come back when I have the right ones for the motherboard. So now we're just gonna put in our last standoff. Or put in our last motherboard screw, I should say. Standoffs are already in. There you go and yeah, the motherboard's not going to go anywhere. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the very small connectors. Just because when I put the graphics card in, it's going to become about 10 times harder to put these in. We're going to sell our WD Black. As you can see in there, they're still cold. They're going to be blowing over the hard drive, but it's not blocking uh, any of the fan. What we're going to do is we're going to slide it in so that it lines up with those two holes. One screw. And we're going to just screw this in just so it can't move anymore. And we're going to get one more. Put it in the same place this side. And if I have the solder lead in the in the hard drive, I'm just gonna plug the solder lead into the motherboard now. Now it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna plug this into number one. Now I know there's no there's no window in this case, but I think it would still be nice to have some cable management done. So yeah, there. So now I'm just gonna put in the uh, put the front bezel on. Or back on, it just pulls off with some clips down on the very bottom. Well, not a clip, sorry, a little handle. There we go. Yeah, the only problem I have with this design, where you just like pull it off from the bottom, is it's terrifying putting it on and off. So now I'm gonna uh, slide this in. Now you're going to want to slide it in until it's right, front IO cables are getting stuff. You're going to slide it in until it's flush with the front, so there. Now, it lines up in the very middle, and I have the two list clips here. So, turn it and This side, there and there. Yeah, and so as you can see here, we have our our next saddle lead. And uh, the two saddle leads that come with this case are straight to right angle. And so what that means is it's pretty simple. It's a straight connector to a right angle connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the right angle connector into our into our DVD writer. Push it in. 
gonna go. Oh, whoops. Uh, it's gonna go out here. There we go. I'm gonna come in here, and it's going to go into side connector number two. Sorry if you couldn't see there. My hands in the way, but now, see the reason I couldn't use the ones that come with the with the uh, with the motherboard for this for this one is because the right angle one for the hard drive would have just come down and it, there would have been too sharp a bend. So now we're going to put in the, uh, the power supply. Now I want to point out the connections on the motherboard for this. You can see the 24 pins here. So I can bring the 24 pin through here if it fits. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll fit with the scale management. And the 4 pin is up here. So I'm going to have to bring the 4 pin from here across. If it fits at least. So uh, I'm going to put in the first way and I'll come back to you when I'm putting in the screws. Alright, so as you can see, everything's done. The graphics card's in, obviously. Put a, I put a red LED fan on this side. Windows are starting up. Uh, I would have recorded myself putting in the graphics card, but uh, there was wires everywhere and I thought it just wouldn't be very clean looking. So I just put it in, and uh, every game, uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, uh, World of Subways 3, and Arma 2 all run on Ultra. So for around 400 euros or 400 dollars, this is a beast of a system. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below.